Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, amen and amen. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a question, folks out there, folks out there in particular, a question. Are you ready to meet your maker? Are you ready to stand before God? We're going to. It's going to happen. And that's really the point of the message today, is that it's going to happen. There is no getting around it. There's no escaping it. It can be denied that it's going to happen. You can reject that it's going to happen. You can ignore that it's going to happen. But it's going to happen. And there is none who can escape the reality. None. No, not one. Now, praise the Lord for those who know the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior. It's going to be a pretty cool day. It's going to be a beautiful day. But for those who do not, for the deniers, for the rejecters, it's going to be a real dose of true reality. And as we say, it's going to happen. Now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, everybody uh, acquainted with the second coming of the Lord material, brothers and sisters out there, know the text. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Oh, praise the Lord. The devil has done a very good job these days of creating an argument about timing to the point that often the reality of it gets lost in the argument of timing is the fact that it's going to happen. Well, brothers and sisters, folks out there, that's what matters. It's going to happen. The Lord is going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and the trump of God. Going to, promised in the book of Acts chapter 1, as the disciples stand gazing up into heaven, as Jesus ascends, and two angels stand. Why stand you here gazing up to heaven? Don't you know that he's going to come in like manner as he has ascended? He's going to descend. He's going to come back. It's going to happen. This is not a maybe, a sort of, or an if. It's an absolute fact that God is going to do this. This is going to happen. And one way or another, we need to be prepared. For all of sin to come short of the glory of God, all in need of receiving Jesus Christ as our Savior, for the forgiveness of sin, his shed blood, the atoning sacrifice, his life upon the cross, death upon the cross, the truth that he was buried, confirming his death, and on the third day he rose, that we might have life. This is what pays for the sin that now separates you from God that is going to be what determines your eternal future. Be it heaven or hell. And hell is a real place, folks. We can get into the Greek and the Hebrew and the Ghana and the this and the that. Hell is a real place. And unfortunately, those who reject God and God's love, His way, 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Receive, believe, one amen. If you reject God's love, then there is an eternal price to pay for that. Be forgiven, believe, he's paid the price. Matter of taking a step in faith. And faith is the evidence that God exists and that God is true. You take that step in faith, you'll know it's true. God forgives sin through his work, his way, his plan of salvation. Now, here, today, before this happens, and there is no changing. Now you can change the path you're on by trusting God, and he will change the path you're on. He'll direct your ways. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Believing in Jesus, receiving Jesus as our Savior. Oh, blessed Lord, oh, hallelujah. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father but by him. Mm. Come and stay. For all will stand, both great and small, rich and poor. Those things don't matter. Do you know Jesus as your Savior today? Because this is going to happen. And you are going to stand one day before God, forgiven, or judged. God is holy, God is righteous, God is just. God's holiness, righteousness, and justice must be met. It can be through love, grace, mercy, revealed in Jesus Christ. Or in judgment. We can be forgiven or condemned. The choice is ours. The reality is there. The sin has been called out. For we have all, all sinned and come short of the glory of God. All. So the sin has been called out. Oh, time to repent and turn from your sin. Turn to Jesus as your Savior. The one who has paid the price, the penalty of the sin. That you might be forgiven. Oh, praise God. In Jesus you are forgiven. Set free. New creature. Born from above. To walk in a new life in Christ. Oh, hallelujah, what a beautiful thing it is indeed. So today, brothers and sisters, folks out there, brothers and sisters, share the word. Tell people what's going on. Fill them in. Keep your eye on what's really important about this verse, these verses. Jesus is coming again. Be ready. Be ready. Be saved in Jesus Christ today. Receive Jesus. There's no other name under heaven given whereby a man must be saved. It's Jesus. He's the only one. Press your save. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father but by, by Jesus. So be ready, be in Jesus today. And amen, oh, and amen, praise the Lord. In Jesus today, believe, receive, and become a 
child of God. In Jesus' name, amen.